What's up, folks? Hey, we didn't really get to do an intro for this hunt, but uh, we're gonna do it right now. Old friends, new hobbies, right? So, y'all see my buddy Danny in this video. He uh, he and I used to deer hunt together 20-something years ago, and he's shown an interest in getting in the metal detecting. He got a really good deal on a Equinox 800, and uh, so we're gonna take it out today. This is his actual first trip out detecting it's not the best of conditions it's like really really super duper hot right in the 90s mid 90s heat index way up there but i almost got too hot uh, on this hunt there was a couple of holes that uh when i got through digging with the stand up i got a little dizzy so uh y'all be safe out there if you're out detecting in this hot weather and drink plenty of water we took some water with us and uh hey y'all stick around see what we find you know uh, as detectorists or treasure hunters as you want to say it that way we'll go out and, and find things and that have been lost forever and clean them off and you know preserve them um, display them and uh have pride in that right you know we 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 enjoy doing that and we um, appreciate the finds that we that we get so um the same way Jesus said he came to seek and to save that which was lost and uh, that's what we're doing when we go out there right we're, we're out there trying to seek and to save that which was lost years ago but you know he can take and clean all that dirt and grime off of us and make us pure again and preserve our souls forever so uh, lay not up for yourself treasure here on earth but he tells us to lay up treasures in heaven. So, hey, if you don't know him, he put that on my heart to share it with y'all today. If you don't know him, reach out to me. Uh, I can help you with that too. Hey, y'all stick around, see what we find. Appreciate y'all watching. This is my buddy Danny. Danny and I have known each other for about, oh, at least 20 years, I guess, when we were hunting together. Yeah, and, uh, this is his first trip detecting. He got a really good deal on the Equinox 800, and we're out here figuring it out. And this is a target that I found. And uh, I didn't have my GoPro on, but I wanted to just in case of something good. So I'm getting a 7981. I've been digging on it a little bit right here. Aha, it's junk. I think it's a Pepsi. I saw it flash up out of there. It is RC Cola. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So there's modern stuff here too. Yep. But uh, y'all stick with us. We're at a familiar spot that y'all have probably seen me at the last four or five videos. So um, we're gonna stick close together. That way we can kind of compare signals, and I can give him some some insight and uh hopefully we'll get on some good stuff y'all stick with us apologize up front for the wind but we got us a button likely just a flatty don't see anything jumping out at me Let me get looking, have a back mark. Shank's broken off. Cool. Definitely from that design, we know it's, you know, pre 1850s. That's when they started making two piece buttons. But we'll brush on it a little bit, see like I see a design coming out back there as it's drying. So, cool stuff. Let's keep moving. Huh? Has mom been giving you fits yet? Uh-uh. No, it didn't bother me at all. Yeah. Hadn't heard any interference with it. So this is a 6870. It's probably the what we call 12th of Georgia button. So 12 gauge. Be 
big root in there. No. 1800 pull tab or pull ring. This sounded junky until I moved the, took the plug off of it. And now it sounds good. In my hand, I think. Yeah, there we go. Piece of pewter, something. Yeah, it's just crumbling in my hand. Give it that old pants rub. Don't know what it is, it looks old though. It's a what's it. It's gonna go in my pouch so we can keep moving. Whew, sweat running in my eyes. But I got 81, 82 right here. Sounds pretty promising. This ground's so rough and so uneven, it's hard to keep your coal close to the ground, but there's stuff out here. I just ran across some more bricks and things. All right, there's our target. Another piece of pewter. Yep. A blob of pewter. Just crumbling. All right, let's keep moving. 74, 75. right there another piece of melted pewter huh. yeah just crumbling all the pieces I got a 52 in the clod not real excited about it huh. I guess I dropped it out of see something around there there we go it's a little bitty thumbtack yep a little bit of brass thumbtack huh. cool 58 62 yeah 59 60 We moved it. Found anything? It's junk, aluminum, mostly. Mine doesn't seem to hit here as much as yours does. I don't know what this is. It looks like a, a rivet or something, maybe. Yeah, I think it's still got leather. This old rivet still got leather around it. Oh, yep. I just found a little thumbtack, brass thumbtack, up here on top of the hill. Yeah, part of a rivet. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I hadn't been down in here very much, but the bullet that I found the other day was over on that hill. So uh, the only time I've been up through here where we're at, there was still treetops and stuff everywhere, and I could only get up that edge. So yeah, 72, 73 on the side of this hill here. It could potentially be another old wagon road. I don't know. I think they had to have a way to get out of the main road and get up there to where those structures are. There we go. 20 gauge. Screaming 81. It usually means a bullet. What we got? Then there's Claude. Yeah, ha -ha. yeah, we do have a bullet. We're gonna leave her in situ right there. Take a little picture of her. Get the close up going. All right, folks, we got us a bullet, a Civil War projectile. I just sent a picture of it to Danny. I see he stopped. I don't know if he's getting his phone out or not. I'm going to try to get him to come over here uh, so he could see it. But we got it in situ there in the clod, and uh, we're going to pull it out. I see some rings on it. I believe that is going to be a either a Colt revolving rifle or a, a Merrill. Uh, I think it's going to be Colt revolving rifle. But that is 100% a Civil War projectile. First one of the day. Danny and I have been out here for a couple of hours now. Uh, his first first ever trip detecting and uh, I'm hoping he can find him a Civil War relic probably not a lot of folks that go out on their very first trip and find a Civil War relic but uh, I'm liking this one cool stuff that may be a Spencer I don't know I have to I'll have to look around so or look and see it's a Spencer or, or Colt Rawl rifle one of the two but I like it. I like it. All right, folks. Civil War relics, fresh out of the ground. Let's keep going. 29, that's a little high. 31, <laughs> So I just dug that Colt Rawlin rifle bullet about 20 feet back there, and Danny's got a. All right. He's getting a 21 to 20. Pretty consistent, Pretty consistent on a 20 there. Uh, I got an 85 if I hover over it, but it, hear that iron over there. Mm -hmm. 86, I would definitely dig it. with it there's i think there's something non ferrous there beside a piece of iron maybe it's a sword cavalry saber there it is Iron staple. I'll defer to you on that one.
The stirrup for a possum? <laughs> Definitely some kind of little iron strap. Yeah, those misshapen pieces of iron like that, they'll give you those really good false tones. No ideas? No ideas. Part of a wagon. <laughs> 71, blowing my ears off. Piece of garbage. There's a can right there. I just dug a piece of a can. I got a 80 something right here, so I think it's probably another piece. Yeah, stuck my shovel right through it. Bottom of a can, Pepsi. All right, we are back at the truck. It is, what, 8.30 now? Yeah, 8.30 and it is still 86 degrees and about 900% humidity. <laughs> We've been sweat sweating like crazy. You can see Danny's shirt just soaked. I wear these like performance shirts and stuff a lot, even the mm -hmm. pants, because they'll uh, wick the sweat off of you. But we had a pretty good time. What'd you think, Danny? First first trip to Texas. Had a good time. Had a good time. We uh, we didn't think that he had dug anything. We weren't you know that close together all afternoon. That uh, you know, he found a uh, shotgun head stamp and some stuff, and then we get back to the truck and dump all our stuff out and. Uh, we think he may have found part of a bayonet. And, uh, and we'll flip you all around here and show you what we got. But uh, I'm pretty confident that's that's what that is. I don't know of any farm equipment that's shaped like that. So we'll get a closer look while we got all right. Light, so back. here's the, the good stuff. We got our early 1800 flat button. I haven't looked for a back mark yet. Uh, probably find of the day maybe for me at least anyway is this i don't know if that's a spencer or a coat revolving rifle i'm thinking it's a spencer flat base I don't know, i'll get some measurements when i get home uh it looks like maybe some kind of a padlock keyhole a scutcheon thing piece of lead some junk stuff but while we still got daylight y'all let me know what you think i'm i'm pretty sure this is a bayonet i don't know what type i've never found one I haven't researched them very much because I've never found one. And uh, so I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that being a bayonet. Just, the, just because of the shape. I know there's some hitch equipment for plows that looks similar to this that I've found. It'll have a, a, a bolt hole down here on the end, but I don't think they're tapered like that. So uh, let us know what you think because I think it's a bayonet. And then we got the uh, either possum or raccoon stirrup the there. Raccoon. Yeah. I bet it was a pet raccoon. <laughs> Somebody had a pet raccoon and it rode their horse with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we got some more iron stuff and shotgun head stamp and a old handmade, hand forged rose head nail. Maybe a piece of a spoon or fork utensil for sure and a melted piece of lead so you can't lead that was your first find wasn't it yep yep so overall good trip we're hot very very hot and uh we're gonna get the air conditioner running and head to the house appreciate y'all watching 
If you like this kind of stuff, like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Y'all know what to do. Appreciate you.